What's up, YouTube? Does what beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make two samples match with each other. It's not gonna be the the perfect chop. It's just a tutorial video, but when you're doing it, make sure you do your perfect chops. All right, so. That's what we're doing today. We're going to show you how to make two samples match the same BPM and match the BPM of your song. All right. So let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. So our tempo for the original song, the whole track is going to be 120. The first loop is this one. That's 75 uh, BPM. This one. That's 135 BPM. So we're going to go to the um, sample edit. And we're going to go to the first one. And we're just going to get a, a quick, just a quick uh, eight bar loop. All right. so that's it right there we're going to take this sample right here and bring it over into our um what's the name so what we can do is just um either you can discard it and it will take whatever is not highlighted it would discard and take it off the end or we can do extract and it will just take what we have selected so let's do the extract and do it so this is it right here this one right here and what we could do is just bring it into our this one right here bring it into our uh bring it into our session okay so let's hear what it sound like remember this bpm of this track was 75 our tempo up here is 120 so right here we need to make sure it's on 75 whatever the original tempo was at so that's 75 all right so it gave us half so let's hear what that sound like too fast right so what you can do is hold control and drag it to the eight bars now listen all right so that's the first this that's the first um the first sample now the second sample we want to make it loop and have the same bpm same tempo as the first one and matches our 120 so you got to remember for you to do this you you have to have your warp on if your warp is off you see that what it happens so make sure the warp is on and it'll line up perfectly right as long as you put whatever the bpm is of the original track if you put 75 and it only gave you half then all you have to do is double the 75 right or you can hold the control and drag it over like I showed you so now let's go to the second sample go to the sample edit and we're going to the second sample which was the guitar and that was uh, 135 all right BPM so let's check that out we're going to just create a, get a loop from that so so that right there what we could do again just extract it all right do it and that's this one right here okay so now let's bring this into our track two let's go to audio let's where is that right here let's drag it in Remember what our BPM was? It was 135. The original was 135. So you 135. So let's do, let's take the warp off first. Take the warp off. Hold control. Right there. 
All right, so let's hear what that sound like. Let's mute track the first one. So it lines up with our 120. This lines up with our 120. So let's hear them both together. Now, they're not in the same um, key. So you see the, the C major and the E minor, they're not in the same key. So what you have to do is come here, sample edit. I normally do it on here. So you'll go to pitch shift, right? And let's cancel first. So which one do we want to pitch? Where do we want it? You got to decide what you want your song to be in. So if you want your song to be in E minor or C major, that's the one, whichever one you want to switch, that's what you do. So we'll put the song into E minor, right, into E, because um, the C, we know we, we have the C on the key. If we want to get to E, we'll have to go here. So we have to go one, two, three, four, right, to get to the E. We have to go up four to get to the E. All right, so let's see. We're gonna change this one and we're gonna go up four, right? Let's go into sample edit, this one right here, pitch shift, and let's go up four, do it. All right, so once you have that, now you can speed up your tempo, you can do whatever you want. You can go to, let's say 160. It's gonna sound real fast, but it's still gonna be in the same BPM. Everything is now is locked together. can go all the way down to 80 hold on all right so that's just it that's basically how you do it you'll take your time and 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 what's the name and um, make sure your chops is perfect or whatever when you're doing it but that's basically how you do it that's how you match both two different sample to match the same BPM and how to um, change the key of it so they both can be in the same key alright so to recap always make sure when you're doing your, 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 um, your sample and you're, you're at home Always make sure when you're at the house right here, not at your actual house, make sure your warp is on. If you can't see if it warp, push it off. You just take the warp off, hold control. Make sure you have that little arrow, not not this one. You got to hold control. Once you hold control, it shifts. See, let control go, hold control, and you drag it there. Then it turns the warp on and it's set to that BPM. But you got to make sure that your chops is good, all right? The chops is a little bit off on this one, but that wasn't a plan. It was just to show you how to do it, all right? So let's go. Let's get it. Catch you in the next one, man. Let's go. Let's get it.